Everybody's making better AI art than you with Flux, and it's time we fixed that, and we'll be doing it in two simple steps. First, you need to go to this Hugging Face page, where you'll be downloading Elora. To do that, go to the Hugging Face page in the link below. Go to the Files section and download this Laura. Place it in your Laura directory, which is right in this path, and reload Comfy UI. Now we need to download a new workflow. Make sure you download it from the link in the description. Drag and drop it to Comfy UI. Now you can load Laura's. Make sure the appropriate files are selected, and then move on to this Laura section here. Now you should be able to select the Laura that you just dropped into the Laura folder. Laura's are small-sized model files trained on a specific concept, and this helps us generate better artwork. This Laura you downloaded is very good in generating realistic artwork, and that is a Laura a lot of people use for generating realistic looking artwork. So go and prompt anything you want. I will prompt for a woman talking in front of a crowd. Wow, look how realistic that is. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the artwork generated with the Laura and without the Laura. Next, use quality tags. What are quality tags? These are some keywords the model was trained on, so using these keywords will make the image look similar to that style. For example, HDR photorealistic image will make sure the image gets more properties of HDR trained images. Here are a few other quality tags. Now let me write a prompt for female knight. Notice how in this prompt, the actual subject is surrounded by quality tags. This makes sure the Flux model generates images with quality. Finally, let's say you want to quit the realism and make something more fantasy related. You can still keep the quality tags, but change the Laura. This time, we go to Civit AI a site popular for Loras. You can go to this page from the link in the description and download this Laura. Place it in the Laura folder as usual and then load it from Comfy UI. Now if I load the same old prompt, you can see how the artwork has more details in it. If your artwork ever feels like it has bad eyes of messed up sections, then reduce the Laura strength. Strength determines how much a LoRa is applied, so a lower strength means a lower application of the LoRa. This is similar to the Detail Tweaker LoRa, if you ever used SD 1.5. Here is another prompt, and here is the beautiful artwork I got for it. So that's some tricks to get you going with your Flux art workflow. As always, make sure to like if you enjoyed this, and subscribe for more Flux and other AI tips like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.